Now in the last video, we started talking about the idea of array-wise operations. The entire idea is that if I say, for example, had uh, two arrays and I, I wanted to, for example, add the elements at their corresponding spaces together, I could just do that. Python or NumPy uh, just has in the back end built uh, what to do when it sees an array plus an array. And it's perfectly fine with that. And that's where we're getting things like uh, this kind of output. Now this actually expands. It's not just our mathematical operations that we can do this with, but it also works in our comparison operations. And really, uh, you could experiment with uh, all of the different types, see what they do. In this case, uh, you can tell that uh, if we're doing a comparison of if uh, array one is greater than a two, it says, oh, well, let me look at each element and do that same greater than comparison. And I'll tell you if it's, uh, in this case, true or false. But what happens if I want to see uh, if my two arrays are, say for example, equal? In that case, that becomes a bit more difficult. Now, if I came in, and I'll actually just shrink this down a little bit, back to uh, just a single dimensional array, we should see that this is going to be false, right? There, there, one is not the same as 10, etc. So I shouldn't see any problems here. I see a problem. Now, this is not going to crash the program specifically, uh, but as you can see, it is starting to freak out a little bit. It's like, hey, you know, uh, you can't do comparisons uh, in the future. Uh, so as NumPy is working, you may not, you know, whenever you watch this video, you may not be allowed to do what I'm attempting to do here. So how do I make a comparison? This is where we get into the idea of array-wise operations. The entire idea here is now if I wanted to do an operation that uh, just is about the entire array, not the elements of the array, I need to access these functions that Python has, or NumPy has built for itself. So in this case, let's say I wanted to do a comparison of X and Y. Now, we've already seen array by itself, but as you can already see, you know, if spider's being generous with me, there is an array underscore equal. And that asks for two arrays. A, you know, it's saying it's A1 and A2. In my case, it would be X and Y. I do the same kind of comparison. Now, what's happening is what I'm effectively doing is I'm going to take my X array and my Y array and I'm passing them to some function that Python or NumPy has built in the background. It's, you know, and then it will do the for comparison. Uh, and if it stays true the entire time, then this is a, a, an equal array. Now, again, in our case, we should not see that. We should see a false. We see a false, no error message, uh, la di da. And same kind of thing if I just came in and did a comparison uh, on one to one. So in this case, uh, X and Y, let's see what happens here. Ah, they are now in fact true. And so there are tons of these operations that we can work off of. So say for example, this is a comparison of the element uh, variation versus the uh, array version operation. So if I came in and did x times y, and just to space this out a, lot, a little bit, if I did x times y, again, that is an element-wise operation. It's going to go through each element and multiply it by its corresponding element. So in our case, we see 1, 4, 9, 16, 25. However, you know, that may not be what you're going for. You may be wanting to produce something like a dot product. Well, in that case, I'll come in mp and the same kind of thing you can already see where some of these commands are coming in and you know if you're really uh feeling froggy i'm not going to go over each one of these in a video that's weird uh but specifically ah look at that wouldn't you know it there is a dot uh function that numpy has in it where i pass in an x and a y and it will do I don't have an extra parenthesis there. It will do 
the dot product. So in this case, it does the multiplication. So it takes the 25, 16, 9, uh, 4, 1, adds them all together, and it should give you a, 20, uh, a 55.